Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm very excited to announce that I'm releasing my next course. Uh, this one is on Packer. I'm releasing it on Udemy and Skillshare. Uh, so check the links in the description below. What Packer and why Packer? Uh, Packer is a uh, kind of, I wouldn't call it a configuration tool, but a provisioning tool for machine images. So you feed configs in on one end, whether it's configs you already have or some new ones that you write in Packer itself. Um, and out come machine images in whatever kind of world you're deploying uh, into, whether that's like a Docker image or an AMI for Amazon or another cloud provider, um, whether that's just regular old like VM images. Um, it's a super flexible tool. And for that reason, I think it was, it might've been HashiCorp, maybe Vagrant was first, but it was one of HashiCorp's first great hits. Um, and I think it's still uh, maybe the best gateway drug into DevOps that there is. If you're in a more traditional non devops -y world and you want to get a taste for what that's like or you're trying to build a DevOps skill set, I think Packer's a great place to start because it really bridges those two worlds. So if that's you, if you're kind of like trying to uh, learn more devops -y skills and just think in a more devops -y way, I think Packer's a great way to leverage what you already know and can already do and then bring that into this new way of thinking. Once you're done with the Packer course, my hope is that you'll kind of use that, those skills as a jumping off point to explore even further into uh, kind of the new ways that companies are doing things. So how does this course work? I mentioned it's a little bit different from what I've done before. Um, this course is, it's not a giant 20 hour step-by-step, -step, like follow me at every step uh, thing, because I, I think very few people ever finish those types of courses. I think the people that do get a lot of value out of them, but it's just, I, I wanna make something that's useful for, for the most amount of people. So what I've done with this course is it is still practical, that's a huge focus of mine, um, and it's still immediately usable, but it's also much shorter, and um, I think it's only like one or two hours right now. I might add videos to it, but it is basically, instead of step-by-step, -step, here's how everything works, here's all the theory, sit down, sit still, and then follow me step-by-step. Uh, -step. This is more of a look over my shoulder as I explain the kind of rationale and implementation for a real life uh, small but useful Packer project. The project is based on um, basically Packerizing my entire previous Linux course, which is like a 20 hour course. It basically takes all that and, and asks, okay, now that you know Linux, now that you can run all these commands, what if you wanted to automate all of this and just package it up into like a single Packer build that spits out a usable image and not just a VM image, but maybe you wanna you know, build this in Amazon or something, or as a Docker image, you could do that. That is what it is. It is essentially explaining the way that I packaged an existing real life project into a Packer project. And of course, I still give you enough theory to work with. So it's all the basic theory of Packer, all the uh, kind of primitives that you need to work with. It, it equips you with enough as a jumping off point to know the basic principles, know how it works, have seen a real life project so you get a kind of feel for the flavor that you're gonna be creating. And that's kind of all you need. It kind of sends you off to build your own thing after that. So if that sounds useful to you and you don't have a ton of time, um, I made it I made it like the cheapest tier, pricing tier on Udemy possible. I just, I wanna get this out to uh, as many interested people as possible. I'd love your feedback. Um, if you feel there's anything missing or there's anything unexplained, I've really tried to cut all the fat out. Um, if I cut too much fat out, let me know and I'm happy to add in more videos. But I was pretty ruthless with just like, only what you need, nothing else, no wasted time, jump in. Um, instead of building an entire thing up that would have taken forever, just show you the finished thing, explain every single component, how it interacts, why it's there, um, to try to, I don't know, kind of build your expertise, kind of like a cheat code to building expertise without you having used it for weeks um, before building that up. If that is something you're interested in, uh, or if you just wanna support this channel, check it out. Uh, links in the description below, Udemy, Skillshare if you're on it. Um, I, I don't know, I'm trying something new. Let me know what you think. So now that this course is done, uh, yeah, look out for more stuff on this channel in the future. Uh, and if you haven't liked, if you haven't absolutely destroyed that like button, as they say, uh, or subscribed, then uh, this is your chance to do that. Thanks again. Love y'all. Peace.